guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite products from the drugstore in the year of 2017. So I'm going to do a full face of makeup using my favorite product from every category as well as my favorite tools. So these are my must haves, the best of the best. Couldn't recommend them enough products out of the year of 2017 and they are all affordable, all from the drugstore. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. It's kind of a summary of the best of the best, but if you guys also want to see a summary of the just the best products from the drugstore, so more than one product per category, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But I know for me personally, I'm like, just give me the best of the best. Like I want to see the best product so I can go buy it right now and not have to sit through a 40 minute video. So if you want to see just the best of the best, in my opinion, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with brows. This was a hard one because I feel like most of my favorite brow products launched last year, but out of all of the ones that launched this year, this is the one, even though it's a more recent find, that I have been most impressed by and it is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. It has a really, really small spoolie, so you can get right up in there, really blend things out. And then the actual product goes on beautifully. The shade isn't too warm, it's not too cool. It matches my brow color perfectly, and it has just the right amount of pigmentation to where your brows aren't gonna look drawn on, but they're also going to show up. And I like the shape, it's like a teardrop shape. It's unique, and I find that it works really well because you can use the pointier side for brow like strokes and then the rounder side to kind of fill in larger areas. And I've also been enjoying kind of cleaning up my brows this year. I find it makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker. And for that, I'm using my favorite concealer. So we're kind of skipping ahead to concealer. This is my favorite concealer of the year. It's not going to be a surprise to any of you, but it is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I've been so impressed by this concealer. It is such full coverage. It lasts all day long. It doesn't get too shiny on me. It doesn't look cakey. It's everything you want out of a concealer. And the brush I've been loving to clean up underneath my brow bone is the AOA Studio E112 brush. This has been one of my favorite brushes this year. All right, next up is primer, and my favorite primer of the year has been the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti Shine Mattifying Base. This is one of the only primers that I've found that actually makes a difference on controlling shine. So I just apply this in my T zone anywhere where I get really shiny, and this will just help keep my oils at bay. And then foundation. Again, this will not be a surprise. I think most of you could probably guess my favorite foundation. It is the number seven beautifully matte foundation. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. It's matte without looking flat. Your skin still looks like skin, but you don't get too shiny. It's hypoallergenic, great for acne prone or sensitive skin. So if you have oily, acne prone, sensitive skin, this will be your favorite foundation because not only does it keep your oils at bay and not provoke your skin, but it also gives you a really nice medium buildable coverage to cover up all the things you're insecure about. And the sponge of the year for me has definitely been the new e.l.f. sponge. I've fallen in love with a lot of different sponges this year, but none more than this one. It just blends the product in so well, doesn't soak up hardly any, and it's super, super soft. And it was a really hard choice between this one and the L'Oreal one because that one has been my favorite all year. In the end, this is the one I've been reaching for more often, so I went with this sponge. And now I'm gonna go back in with that same concealer, this liquid camouflage. This stuff is beyond amazing. And you guys will see a lot of my favorites this year are from smaller brands. There's a very few like L'Oreal, Maybelline type of brands in my favorites and I didn't plan it that way. I just think this was the year of new drugstore brands that are really, really shaking up the marketplace and reminding these huge companies that they've got to stay on their game because these tiny little companies are coming in with such affordable, such amazing products. And I didn't even really realize it until I was planning this video and picking out all of my favorite launches from this year, and most of them are smaller makeup brands. And then to set everything, I'm gonna use my favorite loose powder of the year, and it is the number seven loose powder. I absolutely love this stuff, but I will say this year was a good year for loose powders. At the drugstore, for a while at the drugstore, we didn't really have very many options, but this year so much came out. Ooh, it picked up a lot. 
This year, so many amazing drugstore powders came out, but this one is by far the best. Again, it's hypoallergenic, and it just doesn't leave your skin looking powdery. It leaves your skin looking like skin, but it sets your makeup and makes it last all day long. This is safe for oily skin, for dry skin, and anyone that doesn't like that super, super powdery look. All right, next up for contour, I'm gonna be using my favorite contour product of the year, and it is the Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. This contour shade is absolutely perfect. This is in the shade Ashy Radiance. It's matte, it's cool toned, it's everything you want out of a contour shade. And then this highlighter is actually pretty good, but it's not my favorite of the year, but this contour shade definitely is. And then this brush, this whole brush line was a favorite from the year, and I'm gonna use one of them to apply the contour, and it's the BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz Set. This was such an amazing buy. I got it on sale, and I reached for these brushes, more than any other brushes now. They're such high quality. I've washed them several times and there's no difference. They don't start shedding. They don't start changing shape. They just bounce right back. And for such an affordable brush line, that's really impressive. All right, now for blush, I'm gonna be using one of these new Wet n Wild brushes. They don't have numbers on them or anything, but this is like a small powder brush, perfect for applying blush. And my favorite blush of the year is this one. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. This color is just gorgeous. The pigment is the perfect amount, not too pigmented, but pigmented enough. It's Essence, so it's just beyond affordable. And I think in a blind test between this and high-end blushes, you would not be able to tell the difference between this and a $40 blush. All right, now for highlighter, no surprises here, the Flower Beauty Strobing Palette. But this thing, if you don't own this, I'm sorry. You need it. Trust me, you need this in your life. I can't rave about this highlighting palette enough. It is just the best highlighter at the drugstore, period, hands down. And if I put this up against any of my high-end highlighters, it performs just as well, if not better. It's so finely milled, there's zero glitter. It just gives your cheeks that wet look. It's absolutely stunning. And this shade specifically, I can't get enough of. And I'm gonna apply it using this BH Cosmetics brush that really just fluffs it out and blends it out for you but it's dense enough to really pack it on if you want to. Okay, next up for eyeshadow. My favorite eyeshadow, stand out. This one was probably the easiest one to pick out of everything else that I'm gonna mention. My favorite eyeshadow was 100% this J Cat Beauty Sunset Boulevard palette. My top broke off, so it just kinda comes off like a book. Whatever, not the best packaging. But the actual shadow inside is absolutely stunningly beautiful, so incredibly pigmented. These shimmer shades are almost like foiled eyeshadows. They're so pigmented and these matte shades as well. And there are just so many looks you can create. I know I've talked about this palette to death, but I just cannot recommend it enough. And to apply it, I'm going to be using a combination of my BS Mall brushes. These are the ones I got off of Amazon, and the eyeshadow brushes from the collection have become some of my favorites, as well as some more of my BS Mall brushes. So I'm going to be kind of just using this column right here. I'm going to start, and that's the other thing, they map out looks for you. If you stick to these columns, you can create such cool looks. But I'm going to start with this shade right here through my crease on the BS Mall brush. Like, look how pigmented that is and I barely tap my brush in. All right, next I'm gonna go in with one of my BS Small brushes. This is like a flat shader brush. It's brush number eight. And take this shade right here and put that all over my crease. Or not all over my crease, all over my lid. All over my crease would look very strange. I mean, you could pass for that being glitter. Look how amazingly pigmented these shimmer shades are. And that's when applied with a dry brush. If you applied these with a wet brush, I mean, it would be out of control. And I love this palette because there's so many different options and there's equal parts matte and shimmer shades. So if you wanted to create an all matte look, you definitely could. You could create a ton of different all matte looks with this palette. And then if you wanted to go full glam, you've got a bunch of different shimmers to choose from as well. And you're getting so much product for such an affordable price. All right, next I'm gonna take this smaller crease brush by BH Cosmetics and this kind of brown matte shade and just deepen up the outer corner right in here to give the eye more shape. And I am gonna clean things up with concealer, so don't be afraid to kind of 
take this out a little bit. All right, now on a clean brush, this is a ColourPop brush, and at first I didn't like these because I felt like they were too dense, and I still feel like they're too dense to apply a crease shade, but in situations like this where I want to blend out a crease shade, the density is actually really helpful. And then take that same concealer brush that I used to clean up my brow bone and just make sure right here is nice and lifted. And then for eyeliner, there's been a lot of eyeliners I've loved this year, but there are two that have been my standout favorites. And the first is this Milani Stay Put 17 Hour Liquid Eyeliner. I am in love with this eyeliner. It's got a beautiful matte finish, and it does stay on all day long. It does stay put, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge. It is just a very, very durable eyeliner that you can really trust to stay in its place all day long. All right, and then for mascara, I'm gonna be using my favorite Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This is one of those products that deserves all of the hype that it gets. I know on YouTube, there are sometimes products that everyone talks about, everyone raves about, and then you try it and you're like, what's the big deal? I've definitely felt that way before, but this is one of those products that lives up to it and then some. All right, and for my lower lash line, I'm gonna use my favorite waterline eyeliner by far and it's the essence gel eyeliner pencil waterproof i think all of you probably saw this coming i pretty much use this in every video and then i'm going to take one of those wet and wild brushes from their new collection and use the lighter matte color that i used first and take that along my lower lash line. All right, and for lips, I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner. This is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in Bare to Comment. Again, I probably use this in every video. I am obsessed with this lip liner. It goes on like gel, it just glides on, but then it just stays put and keeps your lipstick in place. And then I had trouble coming up with like a lipstick or lip color that I loved the most out of this year. And I just went back and thought about what have I worn like on a daily basis in my every day life and when I really thought about it it was this one it's the Ulta Beauty matte liquid lipstick this was part of the Melissa Michelle palette and I just love this color I love this formula everything about this lipstick is just amazing the packaging with rose gold so this is definitely the lipstick I've reached for the most out of this year and that is everything those are all of my very very favorite products out of the year of 2017 from the drugstore I absolutely can't live without these products and these tools so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you do and I will see you guys in my next one bye